done. I really don't want to participate today. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to have a job. I decided I want to be free while a little teenage horse. Um, and so they say, all right, if you want to move and you don't want to be with me, then you're going to move a lot faster and a lot farther away. Good thing is we're in a round pen and he can't get very far. So all of a sudden he's running as fast as he can go and he's not getting any farther away from me. So he's looking at it as she's just as fast as me. She's keeping up with me. I can't oh, get away. Interesting perspective. So, right. So now he has a couple choices. He can either continue to choose to fight and say, I don't want to play. I don't want to participate. Or he can look at me. He can stop his feet, pay attention, and I'm going to give him all the release of pressure. I'm going to give him a huge break and say, that's all I want is for you to be here, you to be present, you to be focused, and you to pay attention. Um, and as he's running around, when he chooses to turn into the fence and turn away from me, that's him saying, screw you, I don't want to participate, yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want to play. And so I'm going to keep changing his direction until he chooses to face into me. That's him saying, what do you want, what do you need, and how can I do the right thing? Because I want the release of pressure. I don't want to run anymore. And that's when I'll back way off and give him that release. If he chooses to stay hooked on and he chooses to stay participating, he doesn't have to work. When he leaves, he's going to go back to work. Bad choice, dude. Right. <laughs> Teenage boys always make bad choices. <laughs> we were also having that conversation on the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> No can do, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I'll try and That's keep him with awesome. me as long as I can. That's awesome. But I'm still going to maintain all the rules that I had before. He doesn't just get to be on top of me in my bubble of space. If I slow and stop, I want him to slow and stop. And I'm going to reinforce that with my rope. If he wants to just walk right on top of me, that's him saying, I'm choosing the conversation. And just like a child, I said no, and now he's throwing a tantrum and running away. That he runs into the ground, that he's exhausted. Yeah. Exhausted horses don't progress. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't do it back in the place of those. 
-hmm. He has little nostrils. somebody interested in him Yay! finally um, she's come out and seen him twice already and she wants a, a pony that she can do just about anything and everything on she doesn't want him to be great at anything but good at everything oh wow which is perfect for what he's capable of she'll do trails she'll do small jumping she'll do maybe a little bit of dressage um, and then even work in a on the ground therapy uh, type work, right? Nice. She wants something not only that she can enjoy herself on, um, but who's not intimidating for people with that um, mm -hmm. therapy on the ground. So he won't be ridden in any of that um, with in the therapy session or, or setting, but he'll be oh a, a family pony who just gets to be himself and, and great at all the things that he's good at. So now we're just going to keep working towards that hopeful adoption. I mean, anything can happen between now and then, but we're very hopeful oh, good. that everything works itself out. and. He ends up being the right pony for the job, and the woman is is fabulous, very kind, very special, the right personality to have a horse like this, and qualified to continue him in his in his education. Oh, good. All right, let's see. Probably not gonna ride today, but see how far we get. <laughs> 